Good morning, lovely people. How are you all? It's Thursday. Happy Thursday. Um, I have just dropped off at the delivery office. Before that, I dropped off at the parcel shop. It is 8.14 in the morning and I'm now on my way to Tesco's. I have not been in a proper supermarket since this whole thing happened, since lockdown happened. Um, in fact, since probably before, about a week before lockdown happened at least. So probably two months since I went to a proper supermarket. And I'll tell you something, I don't particularly want to go to one now. The reason I'm going is that when I book my online shopping slots, even before this all started, I always book my online shopping slots way in advance. Um, so I get the same slot every week just because it suits me. And uh, not that I've got the same slot every week now, because you just take what you can get, obviously. But I can't do anything about what they do about lockdown measures. So, so it's another thing that I just try and let go and not think about it or not second guess too much. But um, it will be interesting to see what they say. Obviously, the major effect I can see it having on us as a family is... Um, Ashley's business, what will happen with that, how soon they say small businesses can go back and whether it will really be viable for him to go back, bearing in mind that so much of his business involves going into other people's houses and taking people to other people's houses. I, I, I personally wouldn't want people coming into my house at the current time and um, for the next few weeks, I don't think. So I imagine that is pretty much how most of Ashley's clients are gonna feel. So it's an interesting one, estate agency, isn't it? It's not like a, a small off another small office-based business particularly. Um, anyway, I'm at Tesco's, so I will catch up with you later. So it's a standard morning really. I've, I've done a sort of halo eye with a Going For Gold palette by MUA, which I've had for a long time and I do like, but I'm not sure what I think of the halo eye today. I'm not, I don't feel like gold is a particularly flattering color on me. Um, sort of the very yellow golds, but hey ho, it's all right, it's fine. It's a, bit, it's a change, isn't it? Anyway, it's a standard morning. Um, it's 10.33 now. Waste a bit of time on the jigsaw. <laughs> it's very, very nearly finished. I should be glad when I can pack that one away. And it's gonna be a standard morning of eBay, YouTube editing. I've gotta cook a recipe for another YouTube video. And um, yeah, all of that good stuff, really. That's what's going on this morning. I sat at my desk literally procrastinating for 35 minutes. It's 20 past one and I'm going to stop. I haven't done my eBay listings, but I have done yesterday's video, so that's good. I need to do something different. I don't want to sit at my desk this afternoon. It's lovely and sunny outside. What I want to do is go and read a book on the balcony, but, but my house is a tip. So I need to balance those two things. So I'm going to set a five minute timer. Actually I'm not because I haven't got my phone with me. I'm going to get my phone, set a five minute timer in my bedroom and tidy up for five minutes. Side note, Jigsaw is finished. So that was a bit more procrastinating this morning. <laughs> Want you close, maybe hold your hand a little while. Somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile, and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. Your high 
miles on. And I'm... A five minute timer is such a good little trick, tip, hack, hack, when um, you're not feeling like doing anything. I've changed my top because I was too hot, by the way. Um, yeah, five minute timer is a little trick that I've used for years and years. Um, and it's amazing how much you can get done in five minutes. I've put away, it's not perfect, but I've put away a load of clothes from on here. I've tidied up my bedside table. I've made the bed. I've sorted a load of laundry, which you can't see. I've tidied up all the surfaces and put things away. Not everything again, but it just looks 100% better. I've put away some shoes as well. So yes, very pleased with that. I'm gonna do a very quick one in the bathroom because the bathroom is untidy. And then I really am going to stop for lunch and read my book for a bit and find something to eat. It's half past four. Had quite a pleasant hour on the balcony do it, reading my book. And then I got, took my laptop out and watched Real Housewives of Beverly Hills because it was a new one today. It was very enjoyable. Kyle and Dorit not getting on well at all. Um, I feel a bit... A bit miz this afternoon. I've been doing housework. That's what else I've been doing this afternoon. Just bits and pieces. And I've got some more to do, really. Um, but I just... Here's what's bugging me today. I think the whole Boris announcement on Sunday, possible end of lockdown thing has got me... Not nervous, that's the wrong word. As I said earlier, I don't want to second guess what they decide to do. But it's got me thinking anyway. And realising that ha whatever little things they do to ease the current situation, if they do any, the reality is we're not going to get back to normal, what any of us deem as normal, for until a vaccination is found. And although I, in my head I know that's the case, I... I think it's just beginning to sink in what that actually means and how different life is going to be for the foreseeable future and phew, just making me feel depressed if I'm honest, just bloody depressed. Um, the other thing that's really bugging me, sorry I'll get this off my chest and then I'll stop, is I know a lot of people have died, I know that, and it's absolutely terrible and awful and we've got the worst mortality rate in Europe. We've also got the highest population density, so I assume it's something related, you know, related to that in some way. But I'm sure, I wasn't here so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that in World War II everybody stood together with the government. The opposition weren't second guessing and saying what a crap job the government were doing all the time and the media weren't slugging off the government I, i'm sure that didn't happen in that i've, I've, took, I've referenced world war ii because it's the last massive crisis on this level that i can bring to mind um d d did that happen i mean does anybody know because i i can't whether or not you think the government are doing a good job is kind of irrelevant to me because I want to... Be no, sorry, that I'm wording that wrong. Whether or not there are questions to be asked in the future or that you feel they're do not doing the best job, I think that, from, from my point of view, the thing is that we have to... I, I need to believe that they're doing the best they can and with good intentions and everything because if I don't believe that and I feel like we haven't got the right leaders then that's just another thing to worry about isn't it it's just another thing to worry that they're not doing what they should be and what's going to happen I want to believe that that they're the only government that we've got they're the only leaders that are going to take us through this crisis to whatever end happens and they are the ones making the choices there ain't nobody else making those choices out there so even if we think they're doing a really crap job do, does that not just bring everybody's mood down talking about it and saying how awful it is and what they've done wrong i mean by all means after it's all over look back and pick it to pieces then but is it really necessary for the media and the opposition and every bloody person on Twitter and everybody on every spotted 
Facebook page to have a bloody opinion. <coughs> Not to have an opinion, to air their opinion. And it feels like the country is so divided and we need to I feel like we ought to be pulling together and all be aiming for the same goal, which is to eradicate this bloody awful virus. And surely infighting is the last thing we need to be doing, I'd have thought. Anyway, on that note, let me give you a squirrel update. In fact, I'll take you outside in a minute and we'll do a squirrel update. Um, I thought I might do a lockdown tag. That is, I'll just run through the questions quickly. It's just something to talk about for a change. And um, what have we got here? There's 10 questions, so I'm just going to whiz through them quickly. Uh, well, you probably know the answers to most of them all day. It says, who are you in lockdown with and who are you seeing during lockdown? I am in lockdown with my husband and my son, as you know. Um, who am I seeing during lockdown? The postman, anybody who delivers anything. Um, lots of people through a computer screen. <laughs> A lot of people through a computer screen. Um, the, po the man at the postal delivery office, the Royal Mail delivery office, when I go and drop my parcels off, and the people in the parcel shop when I go and drop my parcels off there. Other than that, absolutely bloody no one. Question two, what is your favourite thing about lockdown? Really? Favourite thing about lockdown? Nothing. Nothing. I suppose knowing that Ashley and William are with me and we're all safe in the house, we'll say that. That would be my favourite thing. Um, three, what is your least favourite thing about lockdown? It varies on different days. Today is the one that I've just been ranting on about that I could tell you that I've already told you. Um, Sometimes it's not seeing people, sometimes it's missing my family, sometimes it's, oh, all manner of things. So, yeah, it varies from day to day. Question four, what, if anything, are you worried about? It would be easier to ask me what I'm not worried about. I'm worried about the future, I'm worried about the economy, I'm worried about my family catching the virus, I'm worried about my elderly parents um, being by themselves, I'm worried about what's go how long it's going to go on for, I'm worried about if the future will ever be the same again. Do you want me to carry on? Probably not, do you? I'll stop there. <laughs> um, Number five, who are your unsung heroes apart aside from health workers? Everybody who's working and keeping the country going. Everybody who's staying at home and doing what they should. Everybody, everybody who's just getting through this. Let's all give ourselves a pat on the back and a round of applause. We are all our own unsung heroes. Um, uh, question number six, do you know anyone with the virus? Um, yes, I know a couple of people who have had the virus, um, both recovering now. Um, but one was in intensive care for a long time and very poorly, very poorly. It was touch and go. Um, number seven, are you wearing a mask and gloves when going out? Um, I have worn a mask in shops on a couple of occasions. I went to Wilco's and I put a mask on because it felt quite busy in there. I haven't worn gloves yet, although we've got a box of gloves, so I might do in the future, but I haven't actually been in a supermarket. I would probably wear a mask in a supermarket, although I didn't this morning in Tesco's because I didn't have one with me. Question number eight, are you eating and drinking more? Oh, hell yes. Absolutely. Food is one of the pleasures left to us, a few pleasures left to us, isn't it? Um, so yeah, I am not, I am definitely drinking more alcohol than I normally would and I'm probably eating more as well. Um, are you exercising less or more? Well, I'm not sure you can get less than not at all. <laughs> so um, probably about the same as before. I, I'm not a great one for exercise, as you know. So um yeah, I'm not exercising very much at all, but then I don't normally. Question number nine, what have you learned from lockdown and what changes will you make? Um, I think it's very difficult to say what you've learned from lockdown um, while you're still in it. I think reflecting back in six months or so, or a year or 18 months, or God forbid, two years, um, would... <laughs> 
be a more I think that would be a more realistic time to look at it I don't I don't think I've I could say really what I've learned at the moment um, as for what changes I will make one thing I've learned though yeah I don't want to make any changes I, d I do not want to make any changes to my life I miss it and I want it back there's no changes that I want to make I, I will celebrate with open arms that the day I can have my life back I don't I don't want it uh, I've I think that's a weird question actually what changes will you make we couldn't have made more changes really than we've heard that this is the opposite to what my life normally is so the changes are made I'm, I want to change everything back to how it was that's the change I made sorry Will's just come in no it's fine I'm nearly on question thing oh you can answer this one well do you know what you've what change what um what have you learned from lockdown sick of being in a house with you and dad <laughs> <laughs> and what's the first thing you'll do after lockdown? Pub. Pub. Yeah. Don't think that'll be for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. First thing you do after lockdown, see my family, obviously, um, if we're allowed to. I don't think it's going to be as simple as the first thing you'll do after lockdown. It's going to be things that are going to change very gradually, I would imagine. That's what I would think. So I don't imagine that... Um, yeah, I... I'd like to be able to see my family. I'd like to be able to, like, well, I'd love to go to the pub. I'd like to go to restaurants. I'd like to go on holiday. I just want all the things back. But um, I guess the priority is um, seeing my family. Um, go, on holiday. Like to do. go on holiday. Go on holiday. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah. Right, that's the 10 questions. In a little while, I'm going to do some hoovering now, but I will then take you to see the squirrel update. So today's squirrel update is that the squirrel has been spotted on this one, having some nuts, which is fine. He can't get at them very easily because the holes are really quite small on that one, but he hasn't found out how to get to these ones yet, which are his favorites. We've added this string because Ashley's... Hey, are you blogging? No. <laughs> Ashley is naked behind me, so nobody needs to see that. Um, they would not. They want a refund. <laughs> um, yeah, Ashley saw that there were birds landing on here and they were very wobbly when the birds landed on them. So this sort of gives them a little bit more stability. Um, I guess they probably need one on the other side as well, but it does give them a little... And the birds can also obviously land on the string as well. So that is today's squirrel update. It really is a glorious afternoon. Look at that sky. And look at my beautiful tree. Anybody know what tree that is? I actually thought it was some sort of beach, but I'm not in... T my red one I'm talking... Can, I'm not really sure you can see that. Yes, you can. Um, yeah, I don't know what it is, but... Let me show you a close-up of the leaves and some clever gardening type can tell me what it is because I'd like to know. Um, but it's gorgeous. I do love it. Um, what else was I going to talk to you about? I don't think I was, do you know? I think I'm going to go and self-medicate with margaritas on my balcony and I'm not even ashamed to admit that and enjoy some sunshine. And I will see you again tomorrow for more excitement <laughs> no not more excitement for more lockdown vlogging i'll see you then thanks for watching guys bye bye